Alex, you mentioned the selection headaches you have after the West Brom game. How do you approach that, especially when it comes to the individuals involved? Um, I think it's just a case of sort of speaking to people and obviously picking my starting eleven and then explaining to the other the other players why um, they're probably not involved. You know, so it's a process I go through every week, so it doesn't change. Um, obviously, we've had a good result during the week, but we also had a good result at Rotherham. You know, so. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the, the, the start of 11, certainly as the week develops, becomes clearer and clearer um, leading into the game. Um, I'll put out the team that I think is best suited to try and get something from the game. It's a great position to be in though, isn't it? You do have so many options. Yeah, it's good. That's what you want as a manager. You know, as players playing well and really sort of stating their claim for, for a place in the team. So, um, yeah, as, as far as we're concerned, everything's sort of going well at the moment. But um, all the games are done now. We need to move on and, and hopefully try and win this next one. Dimercy and Bacani and Carl Lafferty both made an impact on, on Wednesday night, especially up front, you've got a lot of options up there, haven't you? Yeah, um, I think certainly with the system that we've been sort of using, um, obviously it went slightly different to start the game, we put in Lewis and, and Bacani up top, um, so yeah, it's, it's difficult decisions, um, but we can't discount what Cameron Jerome's done as well, you know, and um, I think people tend to look at what they're seeing right in front of them and that seems to sway their decision but um, I've got to take everything right now It's a shame Matt Jarvis will miss this weekend's game because he's had a great start to his Norwich career will that affect the balance of the team or are you, are you confident that you've got the options to, to, to make it okay? No, we've still got the options, you know Matt wasn't here at the start of the season when we, when we won a few games so um, no, we'll be, we'll be fine, you know we've got enough sort of quality and cover and we'll, we'll use what we've got How happy were you to get that first clean sheet of the campaign against West Brom? Yeah, it was good but to be honest, points is the most important thing. You know, I'd take a 3-2 any day before a 0-0. So, um, yeah, we just want to win games as much as we can. And if we can keep clean sheets along the way, then great. And if we need to score more than one goal because we've conceded, then that's the way it's got to be at times. It's been a good start in both competitions so far. Do you have to manage expectations a little bit or is it good to have the ambition that comes with positive results? Um, I think it's a bit of both. I don't think I need to manage the ambition of the players. I think it's more out with. You know, I think it's probably the fans and... Um, you know, I, was, I was reading something the other day and it was saying that people were expecting us to go and beat Liverpool. You know, I, th I think I looked at recent results there, so sort of 10 games, 9 losses and a draw. So I think it shows how far we've come and people think we should be expecting to go and beat Liverpool at Anfield. But um, yeah, we gave a good account of ourselves and we're unfortunate we, we could have won the game. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it's just being realistic with where we're at the moment and where we're trying to get to. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing. Obviously, you made a few changes on Wednesday night, but the game's on Saturday. That's one of the shortest turnarounds, isn't it? Wednesday to Saturday. Is that a challenge for you? Uh, no, it shouldn't be. It should be okay. Um, I think the fact that we've managed to sort of use a high turnover of players as well, it's not the same guys sort of having to do the two matches. So that was one of the main reasons I wanted to try and turn it around a wee bit and keep, keep as many as I could fresh as well. Your thoughts on West Ham? They lost to Leicester on Tuesday. They're in, the, in the league, they're on a bit of a roll, aren't they? Yeah, they've been doing great, um, particularly against sort of three of the bigger teams, if you like, that managed to get three results. So they're going to be a difficult proposition. We've got good pace, um, good quality at the top end of the pitch, and we're going to certainly have to be at our best um, defensively to make sure we can try and cope with that.